What is going on everybody? This is Baker Drinks. I'm Troy. Laura's out today, so you get me. Sorry about that if you were looking for her. We haven't put out content in a little while, and as they say, the show must go on. Today we've got our bottle haul for you. And typically we like to run these like the end of every month to show you what we got for the previous month. We just didn't do a ton of hunting in July. So you get all of July and like the first week of August in this one, just so there's a little substance to the video. And with that being said, here's our first bottle. So there's lots of rumors swirling about this bottle. We had about a half a bottle. We drank through it pretty quick in July, mixing some cocktails. So I had to go out and get it back up. It's the OGD 114. So whether you believe the rumors or not, and I personally don't, um, they say this bottle's going away again. Lots of people are stocking up on them. Whenever that happens, there's usually a run on these because people want to get it before it's gone. So there is a, a little shortage temporarily. Um, it's not hit us yet. <clears throat> these things are still readily available on the shelf for under $30. So I just picked one up. Like I said, we finished our last one. We needed the backup. Next on the list, if you remember a few videos back, we did the seven deadly sins of bourbon that was originated by the Buffalo bourbon enthusiasts. And on there, I talked about my sloth bottle. It's the Cooper's Craft. So basically a sloth bottle is one of them bottles that you, you like, you want, you know you need it. It's readily available and every time you go into a liquor store you see it, you just buy something else. Well that was this bottle for me. I had two empties that we just recently recycled and I finally got around to picking up a backup. Great bottle, can't wait to get into it. Next on the list, <clears throat> this bottle came out early 2023 I believe or maybe, maybe mid 2023. And I, I had been looking for it for quite some time. I never saw it around me until like a week ago. I was at a store, I looked up on the shelf, I saw a new label and I was like, holy cow, there it is. It is the Doc Swenson's Session Blend. So this is blended MGP coming in at 90 proof. It's the Session Blend because it's delicious, it's crushable, you can drink a lot of it and it's just something that you're not gonna grow tired of. 50 bucks, great bottle. This next one we got pretty early on in the month of July. I think I actually ordered it online from Sealbox in June and it just takes forever for Sealbox to get their bottles out to you. You know, three plus weeks in most cases coming to Washington. And anyways, this was one that people had been talking about. There was some buzz. We love the brand in their bourbons. So we thought we'd take a shot. This is the K. Luke. Toasted Rye Batch 3. Laura and I actually did a review on this already. It scored very well. It is an exceptional bottle. Check out that review if you want. And uh, couldn't be happier to have this in the collection. Ordered it online, $109 from Sealbox. And they shipped it to my door. And speaking of ordering online from Sealbox and it taking forever, this next bottle is no exception to that rule. It is the Smoke Eye Hill. It is a blue corn bourbon. It's coming out of Colorado. I believe I've, I've read that it was MGP, maybe contract distilled for them, but this was touted by Sealbox website as a George T. Stagg killer. Um, that's a bold statement. It won best of show in the Ascot Awards. So I imagine it's quite good uh, Laura and I were pretty excited about it. Waited almost a month for this to come to the house. Again, extremely slow shipping from Sealbox. But anyways, we got this, we tasted it. It's very good. It's very, something about that blue corn makes this very, very viscous and oily. It's got that, uh, it's almost like a Southern bourbon flavor to it. Like something that was aged in the sun in extreme heat, something like an ASW or a 13th Colony um, maybe something out of Texas even. It's just got that that hot, hot aging process note to it. Is it a George T. Stagg killer? 
watch our review it's coming soon so i was out recently doing a, a small bourbon hunt i haven't been able to get out and hunt bourbon a whole lot lately as you've noticed our our haul videos are, are considerably smaller than normal it's partially due to i just don't have the time to do it anymore and the cost of whiskey has gotten ridiculous and the economy is terrible so i just don't know how much discretionary spending i can put towards buying new bottles but you know I, i'm a sucker for these things so there's going to be a few every month regardless of how bad things are out there in the the, the real world and the whiskey world. Anyways, I was on a recent hunt. I didn't even know these bottles were out yet this year. And I walked in and I thought it was last year's bottle sitting there and a closer examination revealed. It's the 2024 Shanks Homestead coming out of Michter's. I've not opened this yet, but I'm very excited. Last year's Shanks was probably Laura and I's favorite of the Shanks Bomb Burgers pair that they put out every year. Um, it's the lower proof of the two, but for some reason it packed a huge flavor punch and we really liked it. And I hope this year's no exception. Review coming soon. And speaking of Shanks Homestead, we've also got the Bomb Burgers Declaration 2024. Again, unopened, but we really liked the Bomb Burgers last year. Like I said, the Shanks had a slight edge on it. We'll see if Bomb Burgers takes the title again this year in those Michter's limited edition releases and this review will be coming soon as well. Not sure if we'll do those together or if they'll be separate reviews. We'll probably do them together. I think we did that last time and you guys seem to like it. Okay, so as I mentioned, bottles are getting ridiculously expensive, harder to find, or maybe easier to find, I don't know. I feel like this one sat around a couple days and in previous years, it was probably gone pretty quick. But I grabbed it anyways, even though it had that ridiculous price tag, because I'm just a sucker for the product. It is the Wild Turkey Master's Keep. This year was called the Triumph. It is a 10-year age-stated rye. It is the oldest rye, age-stated rye that Wild Turkey has ever put out. Comes in this box with this beautiful presentation. That bottle in there is just gorgeous. Laura and I reviewed this one as well. It scored very, very high. Check out that review if you want. And it's another master's keep for the collection. It's so damn expensive though. It's like a, a special, like a treat purchase, like a special occasion type purchase. All right, so this last bottle on our list, I was not expecting to be able to get. I was kind of heartbroken over it actually. The way that I basically blew the budget on that Masters Keep Triumph and this bottle dropped at the same time and was gone almost instantly. Relatively the same price. But anyways, I thought I had missed it. It pays to have friends in the whiskey world. I had a buddy from north of us had traveled past our house into to the Portland area to do some trades with his friends. And his friends told him, hey, this bottle is going to drop again tomorrow and supposedly in pretty large quantities. He, pa he mentioned it to me in passing as he was driving home. So I ended up going down to Portland, waiting in line at a store, which I never do. Met some great people though. And uh, store opened up, we all went in. I was number two in the line and grabbed the Russell's 15 year. And boy, let me tell you what, it's an expensive bottle, but it is fantastic. I ain't mad at that price on this one at all. If it dropped again, I'm, I'd probably go buy a backup for it. But anyways, review for that one's coming soon as well. Guys, that's been my list for, like I said, all of July and like the first week of August. I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of awkward doing these things without Laura because I don't have anyone to talk to. I'm just talking to the camera, but I tried to pull it off. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're a patron, pay attention because there's a uh, spin coming and you might win some whiskey. Please like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.